Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 4 we are working on lesson number 7 and that means that we are multiplying any whole number by a fraction using tape, tape diagrams. So let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework. I think I'll do at least three. See how we go. Okay, let's take a look at problem number one. Directions are super simple. Solve using a tape diagram and we're going to take a look at 1B and 1E. So let's take a look at 1B. We've got 1 fourth of 48. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do a diagram of 48. There's 48. Let's see. And I need to divide that diagram into how many pieces? I need to divide that into, it looks like, fourths. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. First in half, then in fourths. And let's see. How many fourths are we looking for? Or we're just looking for the one, right? So that is the part we're looking for. Awesome. So I'm going to do this the same way that they've done some of their problems. So they say that, well, let's see, how many units make up this tape diagram? One, two, three, four. So four units equals 48, All right? We can agree on that. So then I kind of want to know, what is one unit? How big is one unit? So that looks like we've got to take 48 divided by four, right? If four units is 48 then one unit would be 48 divided by 4. So let's do that. 48 divided by 4. 48 divided by 4 is 12, right? 48, yeah, 4 times 12 is 48. And that's actually all we're looking for. In this case, we're just looking for, uh, for one of those units, right? We're just looking for this one part, 1 fourth. So I think we've got our answer. Our answer is 12, right? One of those four chunks would be 12. Awesome. That's going to be more complicated in this problem as we look at 1e because this time we're not just looking for one unit, we're looking for three units. But the principle is basically the same. Let's go ahead and draw our 49. That's 49 units long. And let's see, we're dividing that into seven equal parts. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Awesome. And let's see, we want to count up not just how big one unit is, but how big three units are. So let's do that. We're looking for that question. How big are three units? But the way we attack it is pretty much the same thing, which is that we say, look, uh, seven units equals 49, right? Seven units across. All seven units add up to 49. So that means that one unit equals 49 divided by seven. That is equal to, oh, seven. But in this case, we want to know how big three sevenths are. We've all got, we know how big one seventh is. That's seven, 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 and seven. So three of those sevens is what we're looking for. So the question mark is this part right here is three sevens times three or 21 is, would be our answer for this one. So three sevenths of 49, three sevenths divide into sevenths count up, three, figure out how big a seventh is, add up, repeatedly add three of them, or multiply three times seven, and we get our answer 21. Awesome. Let's take a look at one other problem. Problem number K. I should have gone and highlighted that. K. Three-fourths of a number is 27. What is the number? Huh. Wow, how can we do that? Let's see. Well, I'm going to draw one of our old diagrams, because I found those really helpful. Oops. Let me back out and grab my pencil. Three-fourths of a number is 27. What is that number? Okay, so we don't know what the number is, the original whole. We don't know what that is. Three-fourths. Okay, well, three-fourths. I'm going to go ahead and divide that up. There's fourths. And it says that three-fourths of that is 27. Three-fourths of that is 27. Okay. So let's see. Well, so what you're telling me is that three units equals 27. So let's see. How big is one unit then? Well, that would be 27 divided by 3. So one unit is 27 divided by 3 would be 9. So I think that means that this is 9, 9, 9. And I guess that means this is 9. Now let's see if it fits with what we know so far. Three of those units, one, two, three, add up to 27. Is that right? Let's see, 9, 18, 27. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so three of those units add up to 27. 
I know how big our fourth unit is because they're the exact same size, right? 9, 9, 9, 9. And now I think I can have enough to tell you what the whole is, right? It's 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Another way of saying that is 4 units equals 4 times 9, or 36. So I think our real num our number that we originally had was 36. Now that I've got that answer, I kind of want to think back through that question and see if that's right. So let's see. 3 fourths of a number is 27. What's the number? Does that make sense? 3 fourths of 36. If we took 36 and divided it into fourths, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would each be 9, 9, 9, 9, and then 3 of those would be 27. I think that makes perfect sense. I think we've got our answer, 36. Awesome. That should give you enough uh, ammunition to go ahead and figure out the other one of these problems where they're kind of asking in reverse. Hopefully that's enough to guidance to help you out with all of your homework tonight. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.